So let us look at this uh, Fibonacci sequence that's recursively defined. That the first term is 1, second is 1, and after that all the terms are the formed by taking the sum of the uh, previous two terms. Okay, And here of course we have to have uh, n greater than or equal to 2, right? Okay, so good. So if you look at this sequence, how is the sequence formed? We got 1, sorry, we got 1, then we have 1, then add these two, 2, then add the 2, we got 3, then we got 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, eight 5 plus 8 is 13, and uh, 8 plus 13 is 21. I can just do that for the rest of my life, all right? So we'll rather let Excel do that, okay? All right, so let's go to Excel then. So let us go ahead and write the sequence. We got one, two, and let's just write many, many terms of this sequence. I think yeah, this is quite a bit, okay? And then we have uh, here, we got one, one, and then we have two. And then what we can do is that we can write uh, this one as sum of the previous two, okay? Uh, next one as again sum of the previous two all right and uh, then we will just go ahead and uh, sorry about that and uh, then drag it down like this and you can see we got all the you know we got the Fibonacci sequence here up to the 271 terms we can do more if we want to now let's go ahead and look at the Fibonacci ratios what I mean by that is this so by the ratios I mean that we shall write this a2 over a1 so we will just take the ratio of the you know of a term with its previous term so we will write a2 over a1 and then we are going to write a3 over a2 and so on and so forth. So here we got a3 over a2 and then, sorry, a4 over a3 and then go so on and so forth we will have a n plus 1 over a n right okay and if you look at a few steps just by say just for example so what you got is so right here uh, we begin with a 1 okay because 1 over 1 is 1 then 2 over 1 is 2 3 over 2 is how much 1.5 and then uh, 5 over 3 is uh, 1 just let's write 5 over 3 as 5 over 3 we'll let the decimal approximations come up later then we will have 8 over 5 and that's how it will proceed so what we are going to do is now is to have it done by excel so let's go back to excel so what we want here is uh, the ratio of the term over the preceding one. So here we got B2 over B1 and then we have we will have what? Here we will have B3 over B2 and then we'll just let it proceed and see what we get here. You can see the numbers are pretty big here but it seems that we have a very, you know, we have pretty good convergence here to this value and we shall see later and you can see in the lecture notes that the limit actually turns out to be the golden ratio, square root of 5 plus 1 over 2. I mean, these ratios are called that way and this is an approximate value. Uh, it's a better approximation than we got there. All right, so we just wanted to see that how, uh, just wanted to show that how would you get those values by using a spreadsheet, okay?